Have you ever wondered, what does Pakistan's new hypersonic missile mean for regional security? Well, let's dive right in. The Pakistan Air Force recently made a game-changing announcement. They have successfully inducted hypersonic missiles into their arsenal. This move is part of a transformative modernization initiative aimed at boosting the overall combat capability of their forces. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is a hypersonic missile? In simple terms, these are advanced combat weapons capable of traveling at hypersonic speed, which is defined as between 5 and 25 times the speed of sound. That's approximately 1 to 5 miles per second. The addition of these missiles is a significant upgrade to Pakistan's war capabilities. They are not just faster, but also highly maneuverable, making rapid and unpredictable changes in direction. This makes them incredibly challenging targets for traditional missile defense systems. These hypersonic missiles not only amplify Pakistan's military prowess, but also significantly alter the power dynamics in the region. You might wonder, how does this development compare to global advancements in military technology? Well, let's take a look at the global stage. Pakistan's all-weather ally, Beijing, and its rival neighbor, India, are no strangers to the hypersonic race. They've either developed or publicly stated their intentions to develop similar technology. China is rapidly modernizing its nuclear triad, while India is also pushing its technological boundaries. Now, why is this important? The induction of hypersonic missiles by any nation doesn't just change the dynamics of regional security, it alters the global military landscape. These missiles, capable of covering vast distances at unprecedented speeds and maneuverability, present a challenge to traditional missile defense systems. The exchange of missile technology, like that between North Korea and Russia, further fuels this global arms race. The pressing question becomes, how will nations respond to these advancements? Will they seek to develop their own hypersonic capabilities, or will they invest in countermeasures? And let's not forget about the potential advancements in missile technology. The race isn't just about speed and distance, it's also about accuracy, reliability, and the ability to overcome potential defenses. Indeed, the race for advanced weaponry is intensifying, and Pakistan's hypersonic missiles are a testament to this escalating competition. So what does the future hold with these new military advancements? As we look ahead, the potential applications of these hypersonic missiles extend far beyond their offensive capabilities. They hold promise in areas of surveillance and other military or scientific purposes. Imagine the ability to cover vast distances in a blink, capturing real-time data and intelligence that could significantly bolster national security measures. The induction of these missiles into Pakistan's arsenal is not just a leap in military technology, but a strategic move that could shift the regional power dynamics. In a region marked by complex security challenges, these missiles could serve as a deterrent, potentially preventing conflicts before they even start. Moreover, their rapid and unpredictable trajectory makes them formidable weapons, challenging for traditional anti-missile systems to intercept. This adds an element of uncertainty in the battlefield, raising the stakes for defensive strategies. However, it's worth noting that with power comes responsibility. The induction of such advanced weaponry necessitates careful oversight and control to prevent misuse and escalation of conflicts. In conclusion, the transformative modernization of Pakistan's military, particularly the induction of hypersonic missiles, is a significant development. It signals a shift in the country's defense strategy, aligning it with global advancements, and preparing it for the challenges of modern warfare. As we step into an era of hypersonic warfare, it's clear that these missiles hold the power to redefine regional security and global military strategies.